Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor in chief at theserverside.com. Follow me on Twitter, CameronMCNZ. Right now, I wanted to talk to you about Git Config and specifically how you can configure your username and email address in Git Config so you can start doing those commits. Because if that's not configured, you can run just about every Git command except commit. But if you can't commit to Git, there's really not much point in using it. If you've just installed Git, before you can do any commits, you gotta tell Git what your username and your email address is. Don't worry, that information doesn't go anywhere other than the Git repository. You're not gonna end up on a mailing list or anything like that. As you can see, I just initialized a Git repository here. You can see that .git folder where all the configuration is. And again, I can actually issue a lot of Git commands. I mean, there's Git in it right there. I can do Git status. Um, but if I wanted to actually create a file, so touch example.html, and then add that to the index, it's a step you have to do before you do a commit. You can see a lot of these git commands are working. But if I now try and do a, a git commit, all of a sudden I get this error. It says, hey, we need your email address and we need your username. Now this is just used on git commits so that if somebody says hey who wrote this great code it'll say your name and if they say hey i want to send somebody an award they know where to email you to to send that award so you know before you do this commit you need these these fields set and it's real easy to do you can just go git config dash dash global i mean it tells you what to do and it's user dot email and then git config and by the way you can have a global you can also have a, a local or system setting people usually do it global because you do it once and then that sets it up entirely for your account but let's do the user.name that's my twitter handle if anybody wants to follow me also my github and gitlab handle and now those things have been set you can always take a look at them git config list will show you all of the different config settings that you have. You see the email and the name. They're separated like that because I put them in different scopes, right? Local and, and global. You can even see where they're stored if you're really interested. But there you go, that's how you set them up. So you can see this one's in the git config setting, that's global. This one's in the local git repository, that's local. And now with that done, you can go in and you can commit to your heart's content. Git log dash dash local uh, you, that's, not, that's not a commit. That looks like a commit. And now we've got our commit. And if I want to do git ref log, you can see, yep, there's one commit. If I want to do git log, you can see it's going to give me a commit. And here that information goes in. There's the author name. There's the email address. That's what that information is used for. So again, don't worry, you're not going to get on a mailing list. Um, no one's going to come knocking on your door. It's just a way for people going through the Git log to be able to keep track of who made a particular commit and uh, maybe email them if there's questions about it. And that's everything you need to know about Git config and setting your username and your email address. If you enjoyed this tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. Lots of Git, GitHub, DevOps, and talk about software development in general. If you want to keep up with my personal antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.